It's amazing what a man can see by the light of a burning bridge or all my ex all my exes live in Texas and that's why I hang my hat in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Speech number two, speaking to inform, please join me in welcoming Kathy Lee. Because the publisher of Zeitgeist, this movie, uh, uses 
wit and fear and cool assertions to convince us to swallow and accept surreal perversions of, <coughs> perversions of genuine issues and debates. This movie has been severely criticized for its heavy reliance on anecdotal evidence, its unidentified, undated, unsourced video news clips, voiceovers, quotes, etc. Has anybody seen this? Because I have seen um, Unfortunately, factual errors spread around the globe really quickly, but their effects linger for a long, long time. It's hard to get, you know, get rid of them. So, what a tangled web we've woven. It's kind of depressing not who or what to trust anymore. What, what, which of our sites are real and what, what's not real? Is it the incredible web or is it the incredible web? Uh, a lot of you are apparently a lot more web savvy than I've been, um, but I'm learning how to to be more, have more discretion about what I use when I'm researching. Literally, I'm not alone though about being confused about what to trust on the web. Literally millions of research man hours are wasted every year as a result of inaccurate information on the web. It's costing US businesses more than $600 billion a year. What about Wikipedia? I use Wikipedia a lot. But Wikipedia has been described as opaque, encouraging recklessness. Anybody can edit its articles, and already it's attracting lots of teenagers who are now editors and contributors. And some say it's just a matter of time before it self-destructs and implodes. <coughs> a lot of sites are inaccurate, and they have to recall them. So thank goodness there are a lot of, you know, of articles that are now proliferated proliferating on the web to help people like me to, help, to identify what's real and what's not. Here's one simple formula that's adapted, that I adapted from a more credible looking university org type site. <laughs> a is for uh, accuracy of the web. Ask yourself who wrote it. What's the purpose? Why was it produced? Can the author be contacted? Authority of the web. Who published it? And from where? What's its URL? What are the publisher's credentials? Objectivity. Ask that. Is the page just a mask for advertising? Or ask yourself, why was it written and for whom? How current is it? When was it produced? Has it been updated? Are there dead links? What opinions are expressed by the author? And coverage. Is there a balance of text and messages? Are all, and images, excuse me, is all the information presented and cited correctly? So, it's only fair that I bring this full circle because I think <laughs> the web is still incredible and love all the fun <laughs> we can have cutting and pasting. <laughs> and after all, it is about looking good and sometimes just trying to blend in, especially if you don't always know what you're doing. <laughs>